All right, Ty, thank you. You know, when it comes to cancers that are mostly threatening to women, we often think maybe breast cancer or even uterine cancer. But 60,000 new cases of endometrial cancer are diagnosed every year. 20% aren't discovered until they're in an advanced stage. But there could be a new fighting chance for many of these cases. Joining us this morning, Dr. Matthew Powell with the Washington University School of Medicine to talk about a new treatment that just received FDA approval. Good morning to you. Good morning. And congratulations on that. Uh, first off, what is endometrial cancer? So endometrial cancer is actually the most common of the uterine cancers. Mm -hmm. It comes from the lining of the uterus, usually presents with bleeding. And we have kind of good news and bad news this morning. Mm -hmm. The bad news is we're actually doing worse with this cancer. Okay. There's more of it. And it's one of the uh, cancers that has the worst racial disparity. Mm. So our, our black patients are actually having twice the risk of dying when they get this cancer. So there's a, a lot to be uh, uh, improved mm -hmm. on. But we have good news today with the recent clinical trial. Yeah, so tell us a little bit more about that. This research was done at Washington University. Right. and we. Uh, led the national trial and it was actually an international trial oh, as wow. well so mm -hmm. the we led the u.s portion of that and uh, myself and uh, nine other partners so 10 of us there at washington university uh, uh, the trial itself was looking at adding immunotherapy to chemotherapy mm -hmm. and immunotherapy actually lets the body fight the cancer and so we're really excited about these results yeah what will it mean for those who may have endometrial cancer right now so, right, and so these options are now FDA approved. Okay. And so this new drug, Jim Perley, mm -hmm. which is an immunotherapy drug, actually combines with chemotherapy. So patients that have usually disease that's mm -hmm. spread throughout their body would be eligible for this. So the chemotherapy actually helps kill the cancer. The immune therapy actually helps the immune system see the cancer mm -hmm. and destroy it. And what we're seeing are really exciting results with a 70% decrease wow. in uh, uh, or increase in survival, mm -hmm. I should say, and uh, about 70% more likely to control the cancer. And really the exciting mm -hmm. thing is, you know, chemotherapy has been working for a long time, but this actually appears to be working very long and actually where we're starting to use the cure word for patients that we just weren't curing before. Yeah, well, what are some signs and symptoms people might, might have if they have endometrial cancer? Right, so typically that's some abnormal uh, bleeding. So uh, either that's menstrual bleeding that's abnormal, bleeding in between your periods, or bleeding after menopause is almost mm -hmm. always abnormal and needs to be evaluated. So really getting that word out for if I'm having trouble, I need to get it looked into. We mm -hmm. have a lot of patients that think, oh, I've, I've always had bleeding. No, it's a problem, need to get in and get it looked at. Is there a certain age group that, that this hits more than others? So yes, and, and typically uh, women after menopause has okay. been the typical, but we're mm -hmm. seeing more and more younger women have this, partly just lifestyle, obesity. Those are things that cause abnormal endocrine problems in our mm -hmm. body that can lead to these cancers. Where can people go for more information? So uh, the National Cancer Institute has a great uh, website, uh, nci.gov, mm -hmm. also at Washington University at Siteman Cancer Center. All right, Dr. Matthew Powell, thank you so much for being with us this morning and all this great research. Thank you so much. Right, we're going to take a break. We'll be back.